We record our music in GarageBand iOS, share, open, and edit in Logic Pro. We know that we cannot open the Logic Pro project in GarageBand iOS yet. However, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I share the project that I did in Logic Pro to GarageBand iOS, open and edit there on my iPad. Though we cannot open the entire Logic Pro project in GarageBand iOS yet, we can explore the MIDI regions as MIDI files in different tracks or one track from Logic Pro to GarageBand iOS. At the first glance, I have in total 29 tracks for this music project only, so I should be able to open this project in GarageBand iOS with a MIDI file. As we know, GarageBand iOS allows us to have maximum 32 tracks. By knowing we are safe to go, I'm going to create the MIDI files to share to GarageBand iOS from Logic Pro. To create a standard MIDI file, click on File on the top, Choose Export. All MIDI tracks as MIDI file. And save MIDI file. I'm going to add MIDI for all for my Tevorshak Symphony Number no. 9 to make it easier to find as I have too many files related to Tevorshak Symphony Number no. 9. Now the file is on the desktop. We can prepare to airdrop to iPad. Click on the file share and airdrop. Now I received the airdrop on my iPad. I will open with files. And I save this file to GarageBand file transfer. Now the file is here. Click on done on the left hand side. Now open GarageBand, select any instrument. Here I'm choosing classical grand. Import the files. Choose the file to import and drag. Unfortunately, it shows maximum number of tracks exceeded, which is very odd because we just checked on Logic Pro, I had only 29 tracks. So I decided to go back to Logic Pro to prepare the MIDI file from one single track, the first violin. Click on the first track, select File, Export, Selection as MIDI file, Save File as, I rename it here as Devojrock Symphony Number no. 9, Track 1, then click on Save. On Desktop, Share and AirDrop. Now we receive the airdrop on the iPad, open with files, save to GarageBand file transfer, start the GarageBand and choose an instrument. Select the file to import. Here we choose the full drug symphony number no. one, track one. After importing this MIDI file successfully, I realized there were different pieces of the region comes into different tracks here in GarageBand iOS. Though it showed only one track in Logic Pro, it turns out to be five different tracks in GarageBand iOS. So what I'm going to do is to go back to Logic Pro to join all of the pieces into one region in one track. Now we are back to Logic Pro. Click on Edit this time, Bounce and Join, and Join per Tracks. For shortcut, you can simply hit J for each track. Now there is no any broken piece in each region. Everything is joined. Time to export all tracks into MIDI file again. Rename with uppercase letters. And save. Find the file on the desktop and airdrop. iPad, open with files. Save to GarageBand file transfer. Go to GarageBand, choose an instrument. Import the file. Drag. There you go. 
track. However, it appears there is only a piano for all the tracks, so I have to edit the instruments. To change the instrument, choose the track that you want to change. Tap on the piano icon on the top left. Tap the classical grain in the middle and choose the instrument that you want to switch to. Here, I choose string sustain. Now I finish all the MIDI instruments. So here is the edited version of the Bergerac Symphony No. 9, Movement 4. I wouldn't call it as a um, final project because there is still a lot to go to make it sound more like a decent performing. Because there are some missing instruments in GarageBand iOS, I had to create some of them myself. For example, there is no timpani here in GarageBand iOS. I had to use the taiko drum together with upright to make the sound of timpani. Also, there is not enough brass instruments such as the trumpet or trombone, so I just use whatever is available there. Also, there is no violin section 1, violin section 2, just like what you see in Logic Pro. So what I did was to use the string sustain. 